Hi everybody, welcome back to Small Caliber Arms Review. I'm Richard, and today we're going to be taking a look at another gun belt. Now, typically this is the official uh, Small Caliber Arms Review dress code, wardrobe, whatever you want to call it. Uh, just jeans and a t-shirt, I'm fine with it, any old belt, and usually I wear the belt that I made a few years ago. Um, but sometimes, depending on where you work, there may be a dress code, and with the company I actually work for, there is a dress code depending on where you're at. Sometimes I'm out in the field working in construction, and sometimes I'm in the office and have to wear a different outfit. And typically, your average tactical gun belt doesn't quite go with a polo shirt and khakis. So what do you do in a case like that? Well, there's a company called Core Essentials, and they send me a couple belts to review. Uh, they are gun belts, but this one is a nice leather gun belt, and it's got a really unique uh, adjustment system on the back of it there that allows you to adjust it quite a ways in quarter inch inch increments. Tough one to say. Anyways, let me show you a little close up of this. Okay, so here's the leather belt, and it comes in a full length. Uh, this one is up to 44 inches. It comes with one piece with no buckle mounted on it, but you can see right here, this is the track system that's on it, and you've got a bunch of different uh, belt buckles you can use on there, and they're really pretty cool. Um, when you slide it in there, it kind of clicks. You, you can hear the little clicks there, and it latches on the back here, and then there's a little release lever on the bottom here, so you just pull that forward and pull your belt right out of there. Now they've also included on here on the back side of these may be kind of hard to see but there's a bunch of numbers on there and that's your pants size. What you do is it goes from 28 to 44 on the leather belt. They do also make a tactical belt too which is a nylon webbing type belt with the same track system on it and they've got measurements on this one from oh let's see Looks like 28 to 54, so if you're a larger size and you want one of the tactical belts, that's a good choice for you there. Now all you got to do is take your, if you take the instructions and look at it in there, it'll tell you to take your waist size and add um, four inches for inside the waistband, add six, or I'm sorry, add six inches for inside the waistband carry and four inches for the outside of the waistband. So it depends on how you're going to carry as to how you, you know, do this. Now, believe it or not, I actually only wear a size 34 pants. So I'm going to take 34, add four to it. You know what? Let's go ahead and do the six because if I want to make it shorter, it's easier to do that. It's a little tough to make it longer. So take your belt and go ahead and cut it. Get you a good heavy duty pair of scissors. These ones I use for leather. So we'll give this a try. Now it's, it's a leather belt and it's got a, what they call their core, uh, system on the inside of it there, which really makes it a stiff belt. Now these are a dressy belt and these will hold up to, I think it's four pounds for this one with the tactical belt. I think it holds up to eight pounds and we're going to go ahead and put the uh, Taurus 605 on there with the leather outside the waistband holster that I made and uh, we'll see how it does. And all you got to do to put the buckle on there and I'm going to use this buckle here. I just like the looks of it. Just take your buckle or your, the end of your belt flip that piece up right there and slide it in there. I actually have to back these screws out. Now it does come with a little Allen wrench and some extra screws in there. We'll get that opened up. And we're gonna have to back these screws off here because they're gonna be a little extra security on the inside there to hold that belt in there. So we'll back those screws out, not all the way, but we'll back them up enough so the belt will slide in there freely. And then we'll flip that up and we'll go ahead and put the buckle on there. And you'll be able to see on the inside here. Back that one out just a little bit more. Slide it all the way in there. And it looks like I need to trim that up a little bit. I cut it just a tiny bit crooked. That's a little better, a little straighter. Get that slid all the way in until it's butted up there nice and tight. And then you're going to take this and flip it over. And it's going to poke some holes in there and it's going to lock in there pretty tight. Now you're going to take your Allen wrench there and you're going to tighten these screws down. You want to be careful not to strip them out, 
but it should push right down into that leather or the nylon if you're doing the tactical belt. And I really like these buckles. They're a good metal belt buckle with a nice, uh, they got them in different finishes and stuff, but this is the kind of gun metal colored on there. And now you just slip that in there. And like I said, quarter inch adjustments on it. So you can adjust it to wherever you want. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing put on and see how it does. All right, just like you would any other belt, just slide it through your belt loops. And it is an inch and a half wide belt, which is pretty much the standard. Now they do make this in also in a, um, just a fashion belt, not a gun belt, but uh, this is the gun belt right here. I got to work around the microphone on the back of me there. And it's a little bit big, but if I'm going to be carrying inside the waistband, I want that adjustment on there. And then just slide it in. Yeah, I can definitely shorten that up. That's not a problem. And I probably will too, because even if I carry it inside the waistband, it's not a whole lot difference anyways. But that's a pretty good looking belt. And uh, it looks better with khakis than a tactical belt would. Let's go ahead and put the holster on there. Now to release it, there's a little lever on the bottom there. Just pull that forward, pull it right out. Definitely a lot easier to put on and take off than some other tactical belts. Now, depending on the type of holster you're actually going to carry, um, you know, will determine how you want to adjust it. This holster I made to go on my right side there, and it actually straddles a belt loop there, but, and there we go. A good looking belt, a good comfortable belt. I love the difference in adjustability. If I want to eat a little bit more for lunch, I can, you know, just click it out one or two and there, relax a little bit. Or if I need to snug it up a little bit because I didn't have lunch, I'm good to go there too. Okay, now I'm not real sure what that inner core material is in there, but it's uh, it's some type of plastic it looks like. Um, but it's a good solid belt. It's not going to flex on you like just a regular leather belt would. That core keeps this thing nice and stiff so it doesn't sag on you. And these are really nice belt buckles on there, really cool. And the nice thing about them also is they're not permanent once they're put on there. I can take this belt buckle off and put this one on it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and put it on the tactical belt. I can swap them out anytime I want. And I'm going to use my leather belt as kind of a measuring guide. Not that I have to because it's got the numbers on there, but we'll go ahead and just match it up and see where it falls. Like I said, there's plenty of adjustment on there. And it's coming out to about the 40 inch mark there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it there. So I can cut it straighter this time. A lot better. This has also got that same plastic lining on the inside of it there, plus a, a back and a front on it. Now the belts are not reversible. That's the only, I guess, bad part about it. Um, so you don't get a two color belt on there. But same thing, we're going to go ahead and take our little Allen key there, back these screws out, and put it on the tactical belt. Same thing, we'll slide it on there, make sure I got it turned the right way. Push it in there, flip that little latch down, and it kind of snaps into place a little bit there, and then we're going to tighten our screws down on it. And there they are, good and tight. That latch isn't going anywhere, and if it does, it's not gonna pull out there. They're good, solid, good feeling material on there. I mean, they are really well made. I do like the uh, really fine adjustability on these things, and that's even a good looking buckle right there. Like I said, they make them in several different versions, a bunch of different uh, uh, shapes and colors and all that kind of stuff, and they're, they all work the same, and they all work really nice. Pretty cool. All right, there it is, the two belts, the one tactical belt, the one dressier belt, the leather belt. It is actually a gun belt too. Uh, a couple other things they sent to me, of course the hat I was wearing a while ago, and they sent me this, it's a little hanger, and it's got a little spot right here where you can put your Allen wrench in case you decide you wanna get more of the belt buckles and just swap them out from time to time. And then this little hanger piece right here 
you can just take and put your belts right on there, the buckle clips right on there, the same kind of latching system as the adjustments, and uh, you can hang them up in the closet and not have your wife yell about you leaving your belts laying all over the place. Pretty cool little deal right there. There's also a belt protector they offer too, and this is in case you've got uh, one of the inside the waistband holsters that's just got the clip that goes over the outside of your belt. You can put this on there and it'll keep that clip from really damaging that leather. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. Check your holster out. You may need one of these, you may not. And then there's a little keeper right there for the uh, tactical belt that you can slide on there. Depending on how long you got that tail, you might want to put that on there to keep the end of it down. Uh, the Allen wrenches come with each one of the buckles is going to come with those. And um, it's a pretty cool setup, I think. I really like this belt, and I'm going to wear this one around for quite a while before I actually release this video. So this is just the assembly part of it. And... Uh, here in a few minutes, you'll see what it's like after a couple weeks of wearing it. All right, guys, believe it or not, it has been two weeks that I've been wearing this belt, and I am impressed with it. I really am. They're not paying me to say I'm impressed with it. I am truly impressed with it. It's a good-looking belt, and I've been wearing this both in the office and out in the field. I've only been wearing the leather belt. Uh, I've, not, I've been wearing it with jeans and T-shirts and stuff like that, so... I mean, it's a dressy belt. You can wear it with your khakis and stuff if you need to. You can also wear it with jeans. You can wear the tactical belt with jeans. Probably not with the khakis, depending on your dress code. And I have worn it with and without a holster, and it is truly a comfortable belt. I like it. Uh, I have not been kind to it either. I've worn it both in the office and on the field. I've worn it while I was welding. I just got done. I'm still dirty from mowing the grass. I've been wearing this thing for two weeks solid. Everywhere I'm required to wear pants, I've had this belt on me, and I like it. It's easy to take off if you need to bear hiney or whoops of hiney, either one. It's a piece of cake to take off. It's a piece of cake to put back on. It's really good quality. I really am impressed with it, and I love that really fine adjustment on there. And it's got a lot of adjustment, too. Anyways... I'm going to put a link in the description for Core Essentials. You can check out one of these belts if you want. Um, they're, I like them, I'm telling you. Uh, I think you will too, especially if you like that real fine adjustment on there. Uh, with a standard belt, you've got holes at one inch increments on there, and this, you've got quarter inch increments on it. So really, that one inch, jumping one inch sizes there, can really make a difference if you've got an inside the waistband holster on. If your belt is not where you want it and you put that inside the waistband holster on there, it's nice to be able to let it out just a little bit at a time if you want to and get it really comfortable. Good belt, good quality made belt, good looking belt, and um, I really can't say enough about them. I like them. Anyways, thanks for watching Small Caliber Arms Review. If you could, hit this button up here to check out some of my other videos. Hit this button down here to subscribe and go check out Core Essentials and their belts that they make. Really good stuff.